All right, guys. Today is the day. I'm a little nervous. Uh, I'm not sure why. I guess it is uh, being the first eclipse heavy. Uh, this thing installed. Um, I just hope the all the trigger wheel and uh, and all those things are working well. So, without further ado, let's connect the computer. And let's crank it. This is what was missing right here. I took the coil connector out. Uh, key is turned on. You go to the middle one. And you have zero volts. Right? You get this guy, which is our wire. Touch somewhere on the ground. Now, all of a sudden, you have 12 volts. So, we didn't have spark. Um, and that was because of it. And this is the proof that we are on the cor the good <coughs> on the right track. Um, so yeah, this is how we are going to wire the ASD relay. We're gonna finish on this video and finally start this little turn. Okay, so I think I figured what was wrong. Um, the eclipse, and that's my inexperience. In here, back here has those two relays the one closer to the passenger side is the, um, the fuel pump relay and this one here is a the ASD relay which means automatic shutdown relay that relay uh, is triggered by a negative so one of the wires gotta be gotta go ground and that ground dude my hair is horrible and that ground powers the relay which powers the injectors and coils so I test my injectors and I had nothing in there and that's what I need to do so I got a multimeter so I wanna just record this here before I burn down my car and I put here on the 20 volt I'm not sure if you'll be able to see and if I just touch that wire and oh I gotta plug the battery so if I touch this wire I found here is number 67 on the ECU and it says 2 ASD there's another number that says 2 ASD which is 60 no 46 so I tracker the 46 to the relay I tracker that one to the relay and I also look into the manual and all the schematics says that this is a negative but when you measure this I put this polarity on the negative and this here on this wire it is positive so I'm afraid of course of touching this here on the, on the ground because I don't want to burn anything but on the other hand I might need to do it because that's what the things the schematics say and all right, I've read multiple places, ground this thing here, and what do I do? I'm going to just do a little kiss here and see what happens. Okay, nothing so far, so I'm going to put the key on the car, and not turn it, just put it in there. Put it in there. I'm gonna do a little kiss again. Oh man! How possible? It's right. So the key is in the car, and that is actually working. So it doesn't matter if the key is in there, the key is turned, the key is not turned. You touch it, it's gonna ground, it's gonna turn that thing on. So what I need is, uh, there is a sign of a transistor, uh, which means, I think you got to use a negative transistor, which means you receive a positive and negative, and it's just going to pass the negative through. Um, I do not have that in here. I have the transistors I have, they are positive transistors, and this is what I mean. That's the one I use to generate the 8 volts, um, or something like that. So in here the negative goes in the middle 
and then you have a positive and whatever positive you have it's going to change the voltage to the output so uh, I might be able to use a relay so I'm gonna find one wire here usually is the green um, that was going to the ECU that only has power when you turn the key um, and then I'm gonna power that I'm gonna power this relay and like we did black and white right positive and negative and then I'm gonna pass a negative to the yellow and blue <clears throat> so again just recapping and again this is a 98 ECU if you have a different ECU pins will be different but if your ECU is the same as mine pin 67 is gonna be a red with little white stripe so strip stripe strip cheese stripe cheese mm, I don't know anyway red with a white stripe and that one is the one that we are touching on the ground to trigger but we don't want to trigger all the way uh, all the time because of the key off that's going to be triggered also so we add a relay and that relay we put on number 30 which is the one that's different all which is the one that is same as the other one but the top let me get one here so you see here like this so this top one is 30 and so we plug a negative in here and then we plug down here here has 87 and 87 a but we're gonna say 87 uh, is going to our red and white right so when this here which is 55 and 56 when, so when both sides where my fingers are have positive and negative whatever you put on the top goes to the bottom okay so we put a positive which is uh, connector number 39 from the ECU which was a blue color it was a wire going to the battery light um, we only need to I only need to check if when the car is running if that thing goes away because if it goes away that's not gonna be the wire I'm gonna be using but basically I need a wire that's gonna be used um, as a power it doesn't take too much power and the, the other side to the negative when this happens the negative from the top goes to the bottom trigger our guy the ASD is on life is good alright so this is all done uh, I put the relay here the way we talk about it's gonna go in here I'm gonna get pin number six and there's no voltage I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there is zero okay now I'm gonna turn on the car and pin number six one two three four five six and it has 12 volts get a good ground here yep there you go so this means that now we have power uh, now it's probably 1 a.m. my son woke up too so four year old at 1 a.m. in the garage mommy wakes up I'm in trouble so I am going to call it a day uh, and start the car tomorrow and that's pretty much it time to go to bed I um, hope you enjoyed this video this relay is very important because it powers uh, a bunch of stuff in your car and as we learn uh, coils and injectors so if you are deleting your ECU or even if your car is not starting um, that could be your problem so you might not have spark you might not have fuel and the reason is a simple relay so yeah lesson learned hope to share this with you don't forget to subscribe um, there's there are a bunch of cool videos coming up I might even have a video of me um, adding all the R8 coils individual coils in here uh, for multiple reasons that you're gonna learn on the next videos so don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button uh, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and make a little comment if you know why the wire had plus 12 volts and is a ground mm. so with the multimeter on plus on that minus on the car still have 12 volts 
Um, yeah, make a comment down here. Try to make it simple, very uh, for dummies, because I'm a dummy on this, but uh, I'm not afraid of learning. So that's why I end up doing um, incredible things that end up working. So with your help, I'll do better and I'll share with everybody. All right, catch you later. I'll see you in the next video.